welcome back to my channel. It's Marissa here. So we just got back yesterday from our Disney trip and oh my goodness you guys, it was so, so much fun. Make sure that you guys are subscribed and you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out when those vlogs come out. You guys, my mom is seriously so much fun to travel with. You guys will see in the vlogs, my mom is crazy, so that's probably where I get it from. Although you guys really don't see my crazy side, but it was so, so much fun. And there is one video or one vlog in particular that I, I watch over and over and over again because I just bust out laughing. Like it's hilarious. And it was her reaction to test track and I'm debating if I should post it or not because it was pretty funny and I don't want to put my mom out there like that. But it was seriously so funny. I just replay it over and over again on my camera. It's hilarious. I might wait to post that. <laughs> but I don't know. We'll see. It's, it's seriously so funny. You guys would bust out laughing just like I did. I also wanted to mention one other thing. It was brought to my attention that when people search Marlo, which is my channel name, that like craziness pops up like nothing to do with my channel so um, I will be changing my channel name here very soon I'm not sure what the heck I'm even changing it to now so if you have any suggestions leave them down below make sure that you guys hit that notification bell so that you guys will still keep getting notified when I upload videos then too you guys will see um, my channel still pop up even when I change my channel name so yeah um, I was just notified about this actually from Karen over on Karen's USA Adventures. She is seriously just so amazing. I cannot say enough amazing things about her. She's just a wonderful person and I'm just really grateful <laughs> for her friendship and just for her advice and just everything. Eliana is trying to put Disney on the TV. So that's kind of the updates. That'll be happening very soon and hopefully the transition is smooth and you guys will still be able to find me and everything. I'm, I don't want to change it to something too different. Um, so, you know, it won't be... You guys will still be able to find me, hopefully. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video. This summer Disney World haul. You guys, it was so freaking hot there. Oh my goodness, I was not prepared for it. You guys will see in one of my vlogs just some craziness. Um due to the heat and sweating. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll get started with the things that Eliana picked up um, during this trip first. First of all, this girl lucked out. Like seriously, she got so many free things on this trip. It's, it's insane. Like Disney cast members are amazing. Let me just tell you that. So we got on the bus to go to Hollywood Studios after hours and Nobody else was on the bus with us, so we get on and the bus driver comes up to her after we sits down, after we sits down, oh my gosh, I can't talk. After we sit down and hands her this, like the light up little Mickey wands. So um, somebody must have left it on the bus and he just held on to it and he gave it to her for free, like what the heck? Um, so she got a light up toy to take into Hollywood Studios after hours and I really don't like to buy her these light up toys because one, they take up a lot of space in the suitcase, but two, um, I don't know. I just, I personally don't want to spend my money on this, but she got it for free. So definitely this kid just lucked out. She also got a pair of Ariel sunglasses for free. Um, I don't know. She's just, and then she got this little green alien toy. If you guys go follow me on Instagram, I leave it linked down below. Um, you guys will see she got like a little sticker and this little green alien at the Alien Swirling Saucers because she was dancing. So the cast members just came up to her and gave her this stuff. Like it's crazy. So the next thing that she got was this little Cinderella doll. She has quite a few of these kind of plush princesses. Um, but she didn't have Cinderella and this is actually one of the smaller ones. I think this is from like the animators collection or something. So she got a little Cinderella. Um, and she slept with her last night and on the plane too. She's been taking her everywhere lately. So the next and last plush that she got was Miguel from Coco. We absolutely love this movie. 
And I love that you guys can see. Hold on a second. Let me fix this thing. So he has a mask. She has this thing all turned around. Okay, there we go. I fixed him. So he's got like when he goes to the land of the dead, you know, he's got like that little thing on his hood. And then if you lift it up and you pull back his hood, it's just regular Miguel. So I thought this was super cute. Um, it kind of unzips a little bit, not all the way. But we absolutely love that movie and it's just, she, she just saw this and she had to get it. Um, so this is the last little plush, I say little, but this thing's like pretty big plush that she got. So the next thing that she got was this fan from the China Pavilion, I think, at World Showcase in Epcot. Um, she actually did buy a fan in January. It was purple. If you guys saw that, oh, this feels so nice. If you guys saw that Disney World vlog, I'll leave it, or Disney World vlog. If you guys saw that Disney World haul, I'll leave it linked up above for you guys. She did get a purple one. I don't know what the heck happened to it, but she talked my mom into getting her another one because it was really hot. Actually, guys, I lied. That was not the last plush she got. You guys can hear our dog panting in the background. It's pretty hot out here. Um, she did get another plush. It was the little Disney babies Figaro. Again, she talked my mom into getting it, so I completely forgot. It was at the bottom of my bag. Okay, I think that... Oh, wait, no. She has one other thing that she got because... When the vlogs come out, you guys will see, when we went to Disney Villains After Hours or Magic Kingdom After Hours, we got on Splash Mountain. And seriously, another thing, absolutely hilarious. Subs make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out on these vlogs, guys. I'm telling you. So, we got on Splash Mountain. I didn't tell my mom anything about the ride. She didn't know. But we got off soaked. And then we went to ride other rides and... Like, we were drenched. So when we got on other rides that had, like, AC or whatever, we we froze. Like, it was, it was cold, even though it was hot outside. So my mom got her this little sweatshirt. Um, it says, Believe in the Bow. Because despite being so hot out there, we definitely caught a chill from being soaked on Splash Mountain. Um, okay, that is officially all the stuff that she got. I'll move into the only treats that we got. And I, I'm i wondering if these were exclusive to Art of Animation, which stay tuned because I will have an Art of Animation review coming out soon from this trip. As I said before, I've never stayed at Art of Animation. So review coming out and also for Caribbean Beach. I am so behind. I think on our second to last day, I saw these in the like cafeteria, food court kind of thing. And it's these Rice crispy Treats, but they're not your typical Mickey or Minnie Rice crispy Treats. They are square Rice crispy Treats, but they have kind of like an edible, an edible paper overlay. So we have Ariel, and then it does still have chocolate on the back. No. We have Nemo, and then we also have... Lion guards, in her words. <laughs> so I had to get a few of those to bring back because they're so, so cute. I just yeah. had to get them. These I got on our first day in Disney Springs. I got this little postcard and I intend to frame this because it's super cute and it kind of reminds me of our little family. So there's like a dad and a mom and then the little, the little girl. Um, and we actually went to Disneyland for the first time in March. I'll leave that video or vlog clips linked up above for you guys. And seriously, this is like our little family right here. It's super cute, even though my hair is not blonde. But seriously, I saw this and I just had to get it. Um, so I'm not sure where this is going to go yet, but I just saw it and I knew that I had to frame it, um, because it just reminded me of our first trip to Disneyland and I think it's a perfect kind of little keepsake, um, memento kind of thing. So I also got these postcards and I'm not gonna pull them all out because I don't wanna mess them up, but they're also from Wonderground Gallery. And we have a little postcard from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Take a journey into imagination, so the Figment Ride, which I love. Um, the Carousel of Progress, which um, I've talked about so much on my channel. That's like 
one of my favorite, if not my favorite attraction in Disney World. I was able to ride it this time or, or see it this time because um, I, I, we didn't have time in January. So that's the main reason why I got this set. And then also the People Mover. I just saw Carousel of Progress and just had to get it because there's so few merch items out there um, for Carousel of Progress that when you see one, you gotta grab it. So that's Wonderground Gallery. I also got these little post-it notes because I hadn't seen them before, but we have the popcorn, some mini ears. I live in Fantasyland with the castle in the background. And then, and then also Mickey, like Mickey's hand signing um, an autograph book. So I did pick up um, another pair of these earrings. I do already have them from our first Disney trip, but when we were in Disneyland, I lost the backing to one. Um, as Literally as we were walking into the park, it fell off. So I had to get another pair. My ears are sensitive. I know some people will probably be like, why don't you just put the backing on another pair of earrings? But my ears are very sensitive and I don't have any other 14 karat gold earrings to switch out the backing, so I just bought another pair. So I also got this shirt that I'm wearing on our trip here. Um, you guys have probably seen this shirt around a lot. So many people have been getting it because it's super cute. But if you guys watched our Disney vlogs from January, you will have seen that I missed Illuminations because we got stuck in the middle of test track and it shut down and that completely messed with our plans of seeing illumination so we missed it we only caught the last bit of fireworks as we were walking out of the park but this time we were able to see illuminations and i also got some um illuminations farewell merchandise so i got this shirt for the farewell, which seriously is so cute. I actually saw the merch being released before our trip and I made it a point to get some. I also got a little ornament, if I could pull it out, for our tree um, for this next year. It says Illuminations, Reflections of Earth, and then we have the farewell 2019. So I thought that would be a perfect addition to our Disney tree this next year. Okay, we're getting down to the last few items. This is not nearly as much as I bought in January, so I'm proud of myself. Also, before we left, I saw that these headbands were released and knew that I had to have them. I do have the Dress Shop headband for Dole Whip, but these were actually at our resort. And we have a Mickey Mouse headband nice and stretchy and of course you guys know I had to get this when I saw it we have an it's a small world headband um, these are just like perfect little outfit additions without being like too over-the-top Disney you know kind of for every day and then I saw this one and this one is seriously the cutest ever we have a black and white um, and red kind of polka dot mini bow ear uh, or mini bow headband um, but then it also has its own little bow at the top. Definitely very feminine um, and cute. So I've already tried this on and let me just tell you guys, it's so, so cute on. So the last four items that I got, if you guys have been around my channel, you may or may not have seen, I did a um, like Disney diorama kind of build with me video. I'll leave it linked here so you guys can go check out the two that I put together. Um, I saw recently that they released new ones. A bunny ride one and a small world one. And yeah, bunny ride and small world we did before. So I saw recently that they released new ones and I got all of them. So I'm super excited to have all of them now. So. I think, I think the um, Alice in Wonderland and um, maybe Haunted Mansion ones they've had out for a little while. So we have the um, Alice in Wonderland diorama. We have the Pirates one. We have the Tiki Room, Tiki Bird one. And then also we have the Haunted Mansion one. So I will be doing a separate video putting these, oh, I just hit myself in the face, putting these all together and showing you guys what they look like. So stay tuned for that because that will be coming out 
hopefully soon. Eliana also got some pins while we were there because she said that she wanted to get pins like me because apparently I have rubbed off on her and she is now into mystery pins. So she got these two in the Star Wars mystery pin collection. And I got princesses. She got these two in the Disney Princess framed collection. And then I got these from Mickey Mouse. She got the origami um, Daisy and Dale from that mystery pin set. So she got three pin sets while we were there. Again, she said she wanted to get pins like me. So hopefully I'm not creating a monster here. Now that's it of pins, that's all. Yeah, so that is it, you guys. That is all for this Disney World summer haul. I hope that you guys she enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you guys have any of these same items or what items are your favorite. Let me just tell you guys, I love connecting with you in the comments. Um, you guys are just amazing, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Again, make sure that you guys are subscribed and you hit that notification bell so that when I do change my channel name, you guys will not miss out. You'll still be notified whenever I upload and you'll be able to see my new channel name without missing out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and being here with us today. I will be seeing you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.